So now I have to subject you to um, classic game commercials. Because the other stuff that we have done tonight does not fill the amount of time I wanted to stream. So here we go. More of the segment that people just love so much. Uh, what do I even, do? what do I title this commercial? Commercium yogurt commercial three. What, what? Games and demos just chatting. I don't even fucking know. So if I'm not mistaken, we we ended at Soul Calibur. I think. So you want hang on a second here. So the good news about this though is that I can put a limiter on this. All right, give me a second. We're almost ready. This was an unplanned segment, so just got to get this right. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know it's weird. Don't worry. It's fine. Here we go. So, you want to know the story of Splatterhouse, the new horror video game for TurboGrafx-16? They say he stalks the old haunted mansion. They say he's looking for his girlfriend. They say his only weapon against the maggot-eating ghouls who took her is a two-by-four. And you say you want to play this game? Splatterhouse. Only for the TurboGrafx-16 system from Eddie's. Mental. Here's the thing, I- Splatterhouse is cool. We actually- Joel and I played that. Um... I had never really played it before, so that's kind of fun. That- that's the first commercial of the night when Joel was in New York City, we played it. Um, here's the thing though. I love when these classic game commercials, if you watch these segments, you know this, but if you haven't, I love when they actually do live action segments and hire actors to play the part of the video game character. That is very good material. So, you want to know the story of Splatter? Even if this is like a little scummy and weird, they put effort into it. There's a set. You want to play this game? You know, there's something to it something we're not doing a TV count again star parodier Japanese game it's like parodious I guess Um, okay, if you want, we can try to do this again. Basically, the idea is you want to count how many times someone jumps out of the TV or into the TV, into the video game world. You can do this if you want. Play along. Um, it's going to get real fucking frustrating very quickly. Imagic makes some of the toughest games for Atari's video system. Video system. Why don't we call them that anymore? How come consoles are not video systems? Experts, meet the inventor of Star Voyager, Gorp. Oh, uh, how'd you do? Uh -oh. Warp made Star Voyager just like his journey to Earth. Hi, Mommy. There were enemy ships, meteors. That looks tough. He even had to go through Stargates to get... Wait. Ah, you missed it! What's that guy's name? Gork? See if you're good enough for Star Voyager. Star Voyager. Now available at all Highland Superstores. Ah, yes. My favorite video Gork. game purchase. Oh, uh, how'd you do? Store. Here, it's... Gork is a combination of... This alien from Star Trek The Next Generation. My name is Barash. The uh, Halloween store costume alien. And 
Hang on, hang on. I got it. I got it. And <laughs> and this. <laughs> Star Voyager, just like his journey to Earth. Hi, Mommy. There were enemy ships, meteors. That looks tough. He even had to go through Stargates to get here. Ah, you missed it! <laughs> See if you're good enough for Star Voyager. Star Voyager, now available at all Highland superstores. Ah, yes, of course. Chrome toothpaste. There is good, and there is evil. We all have within us the capacity for both. Who's this Jedi? But in the end, a final question remains. Umlu Kublagag? Which side are you on? In an epic struggle between light and dark, choose your path and seal the fate of the galaxy. Star Wars, Knights yeah. of the Old Republic, rated T for Teen. For saving the galaxy, there's no power greater than X. They actually dressed someone up as a Jedi and did a lightsaber key. Like they keyed in a lightsaber for this commercial. Effort. The fate of the galaxy rests on the outcome of a race. The outcome of the race rests in your hands. My name is Anakin and I'm a person. There he is, Bubs Kabulba himself. You know what's funny? This is what I'm up to in LEGO Star Wars. And this week, I will be live with the uh, prequel LEGO Star Wars material. I don't know why I keep saying material. Grey Leno Show has fucking ruined me. But no, it is true. I will do the uh, prequels. So we're going to do pod racing. We're going to see uh, Bubs Kabulba, Jar Jar, funnier character than we've ever had. Key to all this. I mean, yeah, that about sums it up, doesn't it? Oh, we got more bonus. Spartan X. Here's the question. Have we run out of the most bizarre, wacky commercials? Are we just going into regular commercials? We, we need the wacky stuff. We need the good stuff. Uh, yeah, like two Timmy tacos and a couple don't of Don't even mini... think about it, pal. Uh, okay, uh, if you don't You're have... not getting anything from me, mister. Could I speak to your manager, please? Listen, you little blowfish. I've got a fireball and I'm not afraid to use it. Kiss your toadstool goodbye, loser! I think I remember this commercial. I do! Super Mario Bros. now in color, you might actually forget where you are. Oh, who goes there? Game Boy Color. Get into it. Okay, there's still some wacky commercials up ahead. Never mind. That's Bosser and Princes. I can't believe. Hang on a minute. That's actually kind of amazing. That is how Mario then defeats Bowser. Like, how long after this? Maybe 10 years? 12 years after this? 10. About 10. Huh. Super Mario Brothers. Wait, 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 that's not spaghetti. Whoa, 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 whoa. If it's anything I've learned from the Mario Brothers Super Show, it's that he eats spaghetti with no sauce on it. I, in Japan, Mario loves rice, I guess. I mean, I'm Italian American, I love rice. Like, I don't only eat spaghetti, so you know what? I'm fine with this. No, I, I don't eat pizza, spaghetti all day, every day. I, I sometimes eat other food. Let's go racing! It's Super Mario Kart Funny Car Madness! Yes. Turn the track into a giant mud pit. Never doubt it, dude. Mix it up for the big boys. See Bowser and his big foot chopping truck. See Yoshi's go-kart really good. Mushrooms, banana peels, turtle shell. Dino might. Check your rear 
interview and make a mean test. Or go into battle mode and ruin his day. Two speed. Fast and way too fast. Oh my god. <laughs> on a split screen. Only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> now you're playing with power. Super power. I mean, the energy is high. It's definitely a parody of, like, the auto commercials. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! You know, it's perfect. It's... I, I'll buy that game, sure. Doesn't look boring, that's for sure. Are we training an army of gamers? It's the gamer army, everybody. We're gonna send them into, uh... Afghanistan. In about ten years. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, God damn it. So to prepare yourself, you might want to consider some basic training exercises. God damn it. <sighs> well, also, that super scope was not as cool as the gun, the orange gun that came with the NES. Super scope had a couple cool things. I never had one. I only used it a little bit. However... I had the zapper and I liked that a lot better. Big, stylish, and now one of the best values in America. You know who this looked like? This for a second looked like Colin Farrell's penguin from the new Batman movie for like a couple frames. You kidding me, Batman? You gonna come get me? Big, stylish, and now one of the You wanna buy a Super Nintendo America. Batman? Just for a limited time, buy the Super NES Super Set and get five complete Mario games. Standard. Oh, yeah. in the way. Super Set is like no other system. Uh, in performance, handling, and mode seven control. What do you think they did with this Super massive Mario Super World Nintendo afterwards? Postage, like, Super Mario All -Stars does Reggie have this prop? Mario games in one. Mario. So stop by your Nintendo dealer today. When it comes to value, don't forget Super Nintendo Super Set. It's in pieces in a dump. It's in the great dump in the sky. But seriously, though, wouldn't it be great? Like, if you were Miyamoto and you had, like, a big house from making Mario and Zelda and Donkey Kong, just have one room dedicated to the giant Super Nintendo. I think that would be fantastic. I think it's poop time. Uh... I think we saw this one already, maybe? On Sega Saturn. Yeah, we've seen this one. This isn't today's poops. But you know what? Bonus material. Fuck it, why not? Wow. For the record, I don't watch any of these be before I show them on stream. I just make sure they work. This is all AI poop. Artificial intelligence has come this far over the past however many years to create artificially intelligent YouTube poops. Artifical in smelligence, everybody. I'll take Gangster Town. It will be nearly impossible. Corbusoff may rain you you decide. I said we cyber God damn it, even with the limiter too, it's still loud. And you yeah, a gay guy is my favorite video game company. Please, I thought I turned that off. All right. Anyway, here's today's poops. This is new. I go to church. I'm a Christian. Get rid of you and make me. Wait, what did he say? Kark. Car. Hello. Hi, this is Tommy Wesley, Cradle of the Room. <laughs> oh, 
It's me scrolling through the hogs. The new Super Nintendo. All I wanted was change for the paper. Super Mario Brothers Hurikake. Against the maggot eating ghouls. Wow. Yeah. Good music for that. O'Brien is pleased. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tickled by the Triton scene. Well, well, everyone. Let's see what Daisy's doing today. Okay. Why, why did we need to linger on that scene? Oh my god! Fuck. That was loud. Also, with the limiter, still loud as fuck. Thank you, limiter. Anyway, carrying on. So, wh what did that running man have to do with this game? Oh, he was maybe running to get the game? Hard case? Hard, hard o case? Wait, hard o okay? Whoa, graphics. He's floating now. Well, now I definitely want to buy that game. Which, was that Dragon Quest something? Dragon Warrior in Japan? Wh which one is that? Or it's a different game, Valkyrie? Oh, never mind. It's not Dragon Quest. What am I thinking? Yeah, Super Xevious and Valkyrie no Boken. All right. Guess the game. Oh, well, now you probably know what the game is, unless you were born after the PlayStation. In which case, this is kind of like a footnote. Not the most memorable of games. It was just, like, cool to play a game like this on the PlayStation for mature non-babbies. This is how you proved you weren't a babby when you were in fifth grade. You played Siphon Filter. I think? I don't know. Holy even shit. Crying. You can't get a break. New Tempest 2000. What's that? Only on the Jaguar 64 bit by Atari. Huh? I don't get the marketing Do the strategy. Man. Do the ma- Well, why is there old-timey shit from, like, old movies? What? 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 All right, Jaguar it is. I'll do the math. 64 bits is better. Also, Siphon Filter, I did play. I didn't own it, but I played it. It was okay. I would give it the mark of approval back in 1997 or 1998, but I wouldn't say it's something I'd want to play these days. I, don't, I probably didn't age very well. I remember struggling with the controls then, so... Are you ready for the drive of your life? I don't know, it kind of makes me feel like I'm gonna get sick watching this dude. Is this guy about to puke? Is he about to die? 
Drive 6 on PlayStation game console and Sega Dreamcast. Jesus. Some people will do anything to take their favorite video games everywhere they go. But now Tiger gives you all the fun and excitement of your No, not all the games. fun. Tiger oh, Electronics is not all the fun. Games like Double Dragon, jump, kick, and fight your way through four missions. Dude, there was a Game Boy. It existed by now. Also, Game Gear existed Tiger, too. Carter, <sighs> Gauntlet, Jordan Bird, Simon's Quest, and more. Jordan Bird? Tiger, Wait, like, Quest Michael Jordan versus Larry Bird? They just called it Jordan Bird. Karnoff, Gauntlet, Jordan Bird, Simon's Quest. Simon's Quest 2 of all the games they could have thrown on this fucking thing. Um, yeah, Karnoff, I, I believe, and Gauntlet, I mean, these are NES games. This is not an appealing product. I don't want these product, because I had these product, and they were always piss-poor recreations of said game. I'm I'm good. You know what? This one hey, from the really beginning really? of the commercial looked even better. Hell yeah, look at this thing. This is cool oh, as fuck. Yeah. Anything to take that Oh man, yeah, yeah, put the arcade in the school. Hell yeah. That's the strategy. Jordan Bird. Well, Rainbow 6. Let me play. Just a second. Experience the ultimate in video game action with Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Real life special forces action, amazing Real life. graphics, and intense special effects that will blow you away. It's my turn. Tom Clancy's Explosion. Rainbow Six Nintendo Sprite. 64, Game Boy Color, and PlayStation Game Console. And Tiger hey, Electronics. Can we play? Rainbow Six. So much fun, everyone will want to play. From Red Storm Entertainment. Blow you away. See those explosions again. We got what's the button to advance frames on VLC? Blow you and intense special effects that will E. Look at how many frames of animation. Oh, oops. Hang on. Let's see. One. Two, three. wow, whoa, graphics, four, five, it's like six, six whole frame. oh my, oh man, I love graphics. I mean, even for the time, those explosions are kind of crusty. Okay, this doesn't count. Konami. Oh, sorry. I don't know why the... Why is it full screen? Does anyone know how to not do... That's weird. Sorry. Hang on. Let's try that again. So note there's wind coming out of the TV. Therefore, this does not count. Konami. Konami. Twin B. I played Twin B. Just a dude screaming at you. Did you hear? Sweet Tooth got paroled today. Yeah, I thought that clown was in for I'm having life. issues where the, the fucking thing just keeps going full screen. So hang on a minute. Sorry, it, it just keeps zooming in. Did you hear? Sweet Tooth got paroled today. Yeah, I thought that clown was in for life. <sighs> Sweet Tooth got out today. He's probably living the high life. Circuses. Birthday parties. No, actually, he's driving a nice cream truck. Get out of town. Sweet Tooth is back in Twisted Metal 3 with enough weapons to make any angry... Did they hire out. real clowns for this? <laughs> Listen. You go, Sweet Tooth. These clowns may not be real clowns, which is upsetting because some clowns aren't getting work. So I hope they hired real clowns for this job. Vinny, what is a real clown? Next question. Pop the hood. The hood. It's Twisted Metal 4, and Sweet Tooth is large and in charge with all the high octane attitude you've come to know and love.
great value Pennywise. Yeah, this was not my favorite Twisted Metal. It was okay. But yeah, they did four Twisted Metal games on the same console. And then they did a couple more after that. And then the series just went... It just went like... It went, not even a big explosion. It just, they did five. There was five on PlayStation 1. Remember when Sweet Tooth was kind of like one of the main mascots of PlayStation? Those were the days. Kind of was. It kind of was. Crash was the main mascot. Then you had the lesser mascots. Pool of insanity. That was the Parappa um, sequel. They crashed a car into a pool for that commercial. Very good. What you don't? Wait, 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 chat. You mean to tell me you don't know what that game was? The commercial didn't tell you. It was a spin-off, not a sequel. Sorry, thank you. You're correct. Jesus Christ. Did you shoot enough guns for the commercial? God, Jesus. <laughs> it was like, hey, this isn't exciting enough. Can we just overlay a thousand gun sound effects? Also, I love going back to the 90s commercials and seeing the commercials be like, this is so real. You're going to feel like you're in the game. And then you look at the graphics and it looks like. Um, it looks like a pop final. Volleyball. It's fun for everyone. Famicom Cup Volleyball. Yareba yaru hodo disk system. Okay. Well, I mean, I know what the commercial is. I get it. I think we have more commercials before we go to poop because. Don't poop yet, uh, because I think there's more. It doesn't count. Oreo Land 3, rated E for everyone on Game Boy Color. Yeah. Rated E for everyone, Game Boy Color. So you had some limitations. You had board announcer. You had um, the Game Boy corridor, like the Matrix, which I think at the time, the, the campaign they were doing for the Game Boy Color had a lot of commercials like this. So this is just a very, very specific time period of Nintendo commercials. It's kind of amazing to watch it now. Also, I've mentioned... Oh, God, we got to look at this. I mentioned this um, not too long ago, but the next game that I'll be streaming, classic game, is the original Wario Land, and someone made a DX version of it. Like the first Wario Land on the Game Boy, it is now in color. I'm going to stream that because I haven't played that game in like 20-something years, and it's pretty good. So... Now that I'm done with Elden Ring and um, other game Kirby. Did this dude just brush his nose? Oh, his face.
Can you guess the commercial yet? Touch and play over 180 quick fire micro games. <laughs> WarioWare touched for Nintendo DS. Rated E for everyone. Yep. I wonder if this actor was in anything else. Like, was he in a Cronenberg movie at some point? Did he turn into a crab? I don't know. Maybe he did. Water churning, tide turning, sun burning, wave crash, head bash, ride, glide, collide, high flying, fish crying, eye crossing, cookie tossing, snaking, quaking, zoomy shaking, scrolling, controlling, rock and rolling. This isn't supposed to go to the music, right? Getting sweating in your face, race for Nintendo 64. Strap on that seahorse and ride. Under the floorboards with Harrison Ford. Here's the thing. Cool, good job, but it sounded like they recorded that in a separate room and then they just added the music later. I don't know. Well, good game. AOL keyword. Wow, AOL keyword. Holy shit. I haven't thought of that. In a long time. I used to go to AOL keyword ant. It was like antagonist, A-N-T. And um, they had like message boards and I would read about Final Fantasy VII on there. Does anyone else remember that? <laughs> AOL keyword ant? No. Some people do. Jesus Christ. That's, I was like one of those um, XX cloud people. I'm sorry I was, but I was also like 17. How old was I? It's like 13. 13, 12, 13 years old. It's a weird time to be on the internet. Wipeout. And I'm not talking about what happened to AOL shares. Do some old people still use AOL to get on the internet? Like, does that still exist? AOL doesn't exist? No, it's it has to exist. AOL. AOL.com. It's it's just a news site. It's um email. What what is it? So it's email, it's news. They have a, a Twitter account. How many people is that? I almost have more followers than AOL. What? It's like a Yahoo. It's like a, a minimal Yahoo. AOL was founded May 24th, 1985 in New York. I was born May 12th, 1985 in New York. Coincidence? Yes. Why is this commercial quality like really good? Huh? Well, well, hang on a minute. See, now this is confusing because it's not a television screen. It's a kid waking up in the middle of a desert. Is he dead? Did he? Oh, wait, no. Is this a desert? I can't tell. Is it just color corrected? Is it like an AOL field? Sorry, I mean um, a Windows like desktop background field. I don't know what Wonder Project is. It's Mexico from Breaking Bad, obviously. Now, this kid's hallucinating. But he was able to interact with something through a hologram screen. Doesn't count. Minnesota Twins' Brad Radke. Last season, he struck out 75 batters, pitched two complete games, and gave up 32 home runs. Interlacing. Stats, all 28 ballparks. Sega Sports World Series Baseball 2. Authentic as Wrigley, real as Radley. Chihuahua! I don't want to see that baseball turn into a face. God damn it. 
So here's a game that I remember had a very aggressive marketing campaign in magazines. It was like, you don't know what this is, then you're a nerd. Everyone knows what this is. What are you, a nerd? You stupid? You don't know, you don't get it? Oh, C never stops. Look at the way he moves. Up and down. He must be double jointed. You gotta see this. At least he's better than yesterday. Zoo, America's largest killer of time. There is no blood. No one dies. This is Zoop, the game. And we're so sure you'll get hooked, we're offering you this great deal. Rent Zoop and get a second video game rent for free at Blockbuster Video. Zoop, if you start, you won't stop. This one, so I rented this because I saw the ads for it. I was like, okay. Not good. Um, I did not like this game. It was a puzzle game that... I, I don't know. I just didn't enjoy it. I was too young, maybe. I liked Tetris. I liked Dr. Mario. I liked Wario's Woods. But they had it available on every fucking console, and there were magazine ads for what seemed like a year around the same time Yoshi's Island was around. And I just said, all right, fine, I'll play the game. And I did not like it. They made it into this big deal, and then they had to offer a free game at Blockbuster <laughs> because the game was so fucking bad. People weren't buying it. It's like, all right, well, you get another game. At least you'll get a better game to soften the blow of Zoop. Anyway, you here's some poop. Holiday? Zoop poop. You do this holiday? Are you a day, John Little? Well, if he's little John. Flushed the toilet and was like the Okay. Sonic boom went off. It just was so Nope. Can't play that for too long. Why did I include the video of me sneezing? Oh no! Cool limiter. Amazing. Put that sneeze on the internet. And thus it was put on the internet. I may have gone too far. Happy Weber, Happy Weber, Happy Weber. No, it's just Chuck Testa. I haven't thought of that in a while. La la la! <laughs> Almost sinister. Why is there so much of this scene? Oh, it's Big Chungus! That was included with the... Uh, we can't play too much of the song. We can't whip it good. That was included with the poop generator. Oh, boy. All right. Um... Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Just when they thought I was out? They pulled me back in. Here's poops for all. Um, I'm gonna save... Which one did I show you guys? Did I show you this one already? Someone has to know, because I showed, I think, one of them as a preview. I have two. I have two all poop. You didn't show this one? Okay. Too much poop in a row. Not good. Not good. Hello, Mario. Oh my god. It's like... Sensory fucking diarrhea. Oh, 
Family from Atari. A video. Someone in chat said YouTube poops walked so that Zoomer humor could run. That again, great. It's utter fucking nonsense. Oh my god. Alright, before I show you the last all poop, I want to show you some supplemental materials. Welcome to this hour's update. Top of the galactic news is the continuing space battle on Galaxy 48. In spite of relentless attacks when alien space armada, the mothership continues to hold her own. And now some rather bizarre... Who is that? A man was rescued today it's not by dark and sinister Dick Clark, it, no. Dubbed by police as the Night Stalker, he told terrifying tales of deadly bats, poisonous spiders, and robots trying to kill him with laser guns. I mean, it's kind of cool to see it rotoscoped. But a peaceful corner of the Earth was devastated today. Videoscoped, whatever you want to call it. Failure validating auth token exploit has encountered a problem. I can't believe this is still happening. Look out for the futuristic adventure of Tron coming to your area. The sports desk has some hot items too. Thanks, Jim. First boxing, Mahat Mahali made his 216th attempt last night to regain his crown. Back in the day, that was what boxing video games looked like. The men's tennis semifinals at Wimbledon today saw that incredible player, beyond belief, return with a stirring rally to advance forward to the finals yet again. <laughs> it might be tennis weather here. But it's skiing weather on Zeus. A heavy snowfall gave the U.S. ski team an opportunity to practice for the 42nd Olympics. Ouch. Another report has just been starlined directly to the news desk. Planet Earth was apparently saved from total destruction. I mean, it is cool. This is a really cool promo. Combining all these different games into a news update. It's kind of. Oh. Whoa. That's. In television video games from Mattel Electronics. Again, 1982. That's. I mean, it's it's really, it's really weird. But I like weird. However, is this weird? Kind of weird. Today's update was brought to you by In Television Video Games from Mattel Electronics. All right, everybody, let's get advertised too. I've never even heard of the Turbo Duo. Five free games, huh? It's Turbo Graphics with a CD. Oh, okay. Well, I played a number of Turbo Graphics games. Until now. What's that one that was like Zelda? Phenomenon that has arrived upon the scene like a force of nature. Turbo Duo Power. Newtopia. I like Newtopia. With four times the memory of one megabit CDs, the Turbo Duo takes gaming power to the next level of excitement. Dealer more compelling wow. with brilliant razor sharp graphics. Larger characters. Did any of these CD add-ons actually ever really sell? Action, superior scrolling, deadlier bosses, scarier scaling, and like Sega CD or this. With 
the Turbo Duo, you can play standard Turbo Chip and How many were there? CDs, as well as Super CD games. At $299.99, Turbo Duo is the ultimate machine with the ultimate game offer. Two free CDs and a CD Turbo ROMs on PCs. Oh yeah. Games at a value of $250 and you won't believe Neo Geo CD Ease 1 and 2, the sensational role-playing epic. The tremendously popular Turbo Fox CD did well in Japan. Bomb, okay. The hilarious head-banging caveman who started it the all. system is extremely Bomb expensive Bomb now. Smash hits equal with more power and better bosses. The Turbo Chip game Ninja Spirit. The Ninja Action Classic packed with fantastic graphics and bold backgrounds. And last but not least, Gate of Thunder. The outrageous intergalactic shoot 'em up with multiple levels of play. Wow. Multiple levels of play. The official CD magazine. That's very like 80s, 90s lingo. You don't hear about multiple levels of play anymore in advertisements, do we? But it doesn't stop there. Turbo Duo includes a valuable coupon book with savings Whoa! on Turbo Duo products. They really want to push this thing. Now for the all-star lineup of Turbo Duo Super CD Mega Hits. Let the games begin. They were starting to sweat. This was like their last ditch effort to fucking push these things. In Prince of Persia, you must hurry, Effendi. You have but one hour to survive the lethal traps oh. of a diabolical labyrinth and rescue your princess from the clutches of an evil minister. Two megabit action so real, you may wish never to Didn't they replace this guy on The Simpsons? In Gate of Thunder, lasers flash, planets clash, and there's only one person crazy enough to take on a gang of galactic killers Jesus. marauding your planet. <laughs> it's not even accurate, right? It's not. Play, feel like the first with easy, hard, and devil level of play. Surf's up and whoa, fake beach boys. So pollution, dude. Wacky animals dodge hot Don't worry, crabs baby. and seagulls in their fight for the California environment in Camp California. Camp like California! Tunes accompany this CD hit. Well, it's been building up inside of me for, oh, I don't know how long. the beast. Bare-handed, you must confront medieval monsters. Man, we went from all these announcers. And think your way back to human form. The two megabit graphics and sound are truly wondrous. <laughs> two megabit, holy shit. Not even the cops scared a crime boss who's got this city and you're this city. under his thumb. Under his thumb! Your action adventure, Riot City. It's just you and you a pal against an underworld city of bad dudes with attitudes. <laughs> Lots of luck. Wait, that Beach Boy? That game was actually Beach Boy soundtrack? <laughs> The power to change your shape is your only hope against the forces of the Dark Ones. Fantastic. I thought it was like fake Beach Boys. Turns out they licensed the, the music for real. Shape up to an incredible epic adventure. In Dragon Slayer, auto battle mode and dragon flight grant you the power to vanquish foes and destroy your father's dastardly enemy. Experience incredible CD graphics and sound as you grow <laughs> those young those eyes. Legendary <laughs> hero. Loom, here Once you can make ago, some cloth. There lived a guild of weavers whose skill at the loom transcended mere cloth and fabric. Lucasfilm Wait, really? Magic recalls the days of dragons and sorcery as you, Bobbin, weave a tapestry of spells to rescue your guild and the universe. It's a legit game. People are saying that Loom is good. Probably not going to sell systems, but LucasArts. Now you can put gay and theory to the test in the endlessly fascinating Sim Earth. Choose from eight scenarios to control the destiny of your planet's geosphere, atmosphere, biomes, even civilization itself. Got the Good UI. Luck, but beware, destroy the Earth. Giving me rickets. Gaia will be very upset. Still, I probably would have enjoyed that. Dungeon Explorer 2. Only this time the stakes are higher. The oh, Dungeon Explorer the was the game that I played on the Wii eShop. I didn't know there was a sequel. I like Dungeon Explorer a lot. Though there was a song in that that sounded like that September song from Earth, Wind, and Fire. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Can you link me to that? If anyone knows. But take heart, you're not just armed with the ultimate weapon, you are the ultimate weapon. Fight your way through seven levels of unbelievable shooting action. Mac 
Drool is back in the all-new Super Air Zonk. And this time, it's no more Mr. Nice Feed. Are you zonk enough to battle ubiquitous new bats? Absolutely fucking race, zonked. Terrifying trap jaws and maniacal mighty ducks? Sure you are, because you're zonk. And you're back with powerful allies of your own. You so have to be zonked to buy the system. Because the graphics and sound in this game are so fantastic. They'll blow you away. Here's a sneak peek at a game so new, even the name is top secret. Bonk? Wait, 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 wait. Zonk and Bonk? Featuring that prehistoric headbanger, Bonk. That's right, Bonk is back by popular demand in a zany CD game that lets you and a friend play together as you get small, I thought the name was secret. And bonk your way through hours of side-splitting, head-bashing fun. Chat, you realize we're watching the very first Nintendo Direct it's that Nintendo did not create. Card, and it's your ticket to a new world of gaming excitement. Add the upgrade card to your TurboGrafx CD system, and suddenly you've got... Power Plus. Power CD Plus. Power Plus new TurboGrafx Super CD technology. With your new Super System card, you can play all the standard TurboChip 1 megabit CD games, plus an all new <laughs> lineup of Super CD hits. Thrill to longer, more challenging games with Nintendo graphics, also stole the expansion pack action, idea from this. Bigger characters, better sound, and more realistic animation than ever before. Brace yourself for more earth-shaking news. Now you can send away for either one of two incredible offers. For the absurdly low price of $65, absurdly you can get a Super System card. Or for... What's that in today's money? You can get a Super CD containing no less than three games. Game no Thunder, less than... Bong's Adventure and Bong's Revenge. Not to mention a coupon booklet worth $50 for savings on any Turbo Duo software and accessories. Make your choice and call this number. What's the number? Turbo Duo. One machine called this number. Thank you for calling Mitsubishi Chemical Advanced Material. Hi, yes, can I speak, uh, please speak to Satan? Thank you for calling Mitsubishi Chemical Advanced Materials, North American Headquarters, located in Reading, Pennsylvania. If you know the extension of the person you wish to reach, please dial it now. To reach our sales department, please hang up and call. Satan wasn't available. The Turbo Duo, one machine powerful enough to take you to the ultimate gaming experience and versatile enough to take you one step beyond into a world where the only limits are the boundaries of your own imagination. Turbo Duo plays CD stereo discs, interfaces with your personal computer to run CD-ROM discs, and even lets you sing along to your own karaoke CD. It got karaoke. You what do you mean karaoke? You for a long time. Can we get like a check on that? You deserve. Like announcer, you're it comes to intense gaming excitement. There are only two words you need to know. Turbo Duo Power. Oh. I thought the, the two words were gluck and shitto. Alright, well that's the Nintendo Direct. Now I don't know if this is the song because it's Dungeon Keeper 2. No. Yeah, they did Disco Inferno for Dungeon Keeper 2, but Dungeon Keeper 1. Wait, that's Dungeon Keeper. No, 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 that's Dungeon Explorer is the game. 
Dungeon Explorer. There's um, a song that sounds like the Earth, Wind, and Fire song. I'm going to find it real quick. Just bringing back some memories, though. I played this game co-op a bunch of times, because it was fun. Even though it was the Wii era by then. Hang on, hang on, we'll get there. It's a lot of dungeon themes, but we'll get there. These games supported five-player co-op. Yeah, they did. I have another poop for you if you give me just a second here, but um, the, the fucking song isn't loading, so. I actually played this with my friend Billy. Keyboardist, red, bo uh, red box band. Speaking of, the CDs are available for Visions and Kerosene. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, I can't find it, so... Uh, never mind, but at some point I will find it in a future stream I will show you. Hmm. Alright, uh... Well... Like I said, we've got one more poop. Maybe we've seen this one, I don't know. But here it is, here's one more all poop. In the end of this commercial segment forever. For now. Well, I haven't heard this in a while. Jesus. <laughs> a lot of Sopranos references tonight. This is just nonsense. As usual, but even more so. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, chat. Uh, that's another classic game commercials, and I do have more for the future, but I have not pooped them, and I have not prepared them, so that's going to be something to think about uh, life choices in the future. Okay, well, thank you all very much for watching the stream tonight. I want you to know that I appreciate you being here to um, just watch me play games and, and uh, show you dumb stuff. It does mean a lot. It's something that is nice to have, and I'm glad I... I'm glad I can do it. Appreciate it. And uh, I hope you all have a good day, good night. This has um, been an interesting day. <laughs> it's a lot of very weird corruptions that we've had. But I enjoyed it very much. So thank you, anyone that submitted anything. If you do have any interesting Sunday stream type stuff that you would like to see, vinesauce.email is the place. And that's where you'd want to submit that. Um, XSplit keeps throwing this fucking error message up at me, so that sucks, but... We got a Ryzen? Oh shit, we're dropping frames! Right at the end. Um, hey, can we get this... Can we get this to, um... 44k? Just need a couple more bucks. I would love to see the charity hit 44k. Everyone, thank you once again for doing a really nice job for charity today, um, and I, I do appreciate it. We all do. 
on behalf of um, everybody who worked on this charity event, just thank you for spending, you know, a little bit of your money to help out for a really good cause. Um, this wasn't like a, a particularly like put together event, which is what we wanted. I mean, to be fair, you know, we're doing it on our own channels and we're just playing some games, doing some stupid shit, but it worked out. This is a really, really decent amount of money for this charity, well beyond expectations. So I am very, very happy to see that number reach. I think we're going to hit 44K before I rise in. It's going to happen. I will show you the Yoda image if we do. We did it. 44K. It is done. Thank you, everybody. We did it. And now I will rise in myself to sleep. Good night. Take care, everybody. See you soon with Lego Star Wars prequels um, and also Wario Land and more video games. Plenty of good pre-recorded stuff on the Full Sauce channel as well. Thank you, mods. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, subs. Even though, save your money for charity events. Oh, wait, this was one.